Well, this is big news. Outdoor graduations will be coming back to Connecticut this summer, and in many cases, they're going to look a little different. Yeah, but they're going to happen, which I think will make a lot of people happy. Uh, Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell went to Farmington to give us a closer look at how these ceremonies will take place. Well, Mark and Aaron, we are here at the Farmington Polo Grounds, and this is where several high schools could be having their graduation ceremonies. Change of venue, no big deal, but what about having to attend the entire ceremony from your car? When the coronavirus locked down classrooms for the year, Timothy Stevenson predicted the worst. I joked to my math teacher, shout out to Mr. Mongelo, any day could be the last day that we see each other. For the most part, he was right. The next time the senior class at Farmington High will all be together again will be in July for graduation. And it'll look a lot like this. I was really looking forward to it. It was, you know, uh, the end of all our, our four years here at uh, the high school. At the governor's daily news briefing, we learned outdoor graduations can resume on July 6th. Gatherings will be limited to 150 people, so in Farmington, with a senior class of more than 300, that won't work. Class president Sia Goyle came up with a plan of a drive through graduation. Students will be in cars, and when it's time to get the diploma, they'll drive up and get it through the window. I think everyone who's going to attend the car graduation is going to know how special how special is it? We've already seen districts like Ledger voice their concerns on social media. Superintendent Jay Hartling writing, the 150 limit in July doesn't work for Ledger or 98% of school districts in Connecticut. Governor Lamont says ceremonies don't need to involve cars. They just need to be socially distanced. But if you spread it out, you can do two or three, you know, 150 person graduations. You can phase that in if that is um, a place you want to go. Look, there's nothing wrong with a Zoom graduation. There's nothing wrong with a driving graduation as well. One thing is for sure, the class of 2020 will be pioneers, celebrating in an unforgettable way at an unforgettable time. It's better than having nothing, that's for sure. It would have been way worse just to have them ma mail it in, like our diploma just come in the mail. It'll be a great story that they can tell their kids when they grow up. I think Farmington High School is setting a great precedent for the for Connecticut public schools. Now the students here in Farmington did work with the local health department to get this idea cleared and Governor Lamont again says you do not need to do it exactly like Farmington, but he is asking that each district work with the local health department. That's the latest here in Farmington tonight. Matthew Campbell, Channel 3 Arkness News.